Hey guys, it's your girl Lock Looney Tune. Um, and I'm coming through to you today on Super Bowl Sunday with my red and blue eyeshadow look and my red and blue lip and my hair is officially braided out. Um, but I'm coming through today as a, this is an entry to Va Mo's Valentine's Day contest and she wanted us to tell you guys um, why we think our significant other is very special and um, how do we know, you know, what was that moment when we knew they were the one. Um, for me and my hubby, we've been knowing each other over 25 years and there's never been a time in my life that he hasn't been there for me. Um, except um, when he was um, in prison for a while. And um, and there are a few people on YouTube I've connected to um, that their um, significant others have been in prison and stuff like that. But I have a special relationship with him. And even throughout his time in prison, you know, he was always one that said he would be there for me, and he was. I mean, it's not many guys that will come out and say they're going to do for you, you know, after the fact. And he did. He did. He said everything, everything he said he was going to do, he has done. And um, he's taking care of children um, that aren't his biologically. They're him. They're his now, but they aren't his biologically. Um we only have one child together. Officially, we have four together, but we only have one biological child together, and he has taken on the role of being the dad of all my children, and they call him dad. And um, but what's and that's very very special to me. Probably one of the most special things to me. Um, how I knew he was the one. We've known each other so long. I mean, we knew each other. We known each other since we were kids, and um, I think one of the main reasons why I knew he was the one was because he he never, ever, ever left me. You know, when he had an opportunity to leave me by myself. I mean, we have been on the street together suffering together and dealing with things together and because he stuck with me through those times that's when I knew that he was that guy you know that guy to ride or die with me you know and uh, and basically you know after he came out from prison you know we got married a year later and that was five years ago and um, all I can say is that we've grown to be something that um, I've always wanted, you know, that stability, that person that knows me better than anybody else in this world knows me. Now, the, now our song... The song that we have for ourselves, actually, it's the very first song he's ever sang to me. And um, the song is LL Cool J's I Need Love. And it was weird because um, he can't sing. He really can't sing. <laughs> but <laughs> when you hear that particular song and the era that we was growing up, you know, the time where, you know, that was the hip-hop thing, you know. So that was the song. That was our song. And every time I hear it, that's what I think about. I think about him singing it to me. I think about us singing it together. That's what I think about. So um, that's pretty much it. So um, if you listen a little bit, I'll leave you guys with a little bit of I Need Love. Peace. Thanks, Mo, for the contest. Thank you. It's cold. One half of me deserves to be this way till I'm old, but the other half needs affection and joy and the warmth that is created by a girl.